Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the m behavior of this given polynomial. So what we're going to do, uh, first of all, to find m behavior, we need to determine by the leading coefficient test. And what the leading coefficient test we're going to do is determine what the degree of the polynomial is and what the, le and what the leading coefficient is. So the degree, remember, is your largest exponent when your polynomial is in descending order. That means the highest exponent or the largest exponent goes first for your variable, and then we go in descending order. So the degree of this polynomial is a, a polynomial to the fifth degree, as 5 is our degree of our polynomial because it's the highest exponent or the largest exponent of our variables. So we can say degree equals 5, and then we need to look at the leading coefficient, which is the coefficient of that first term, which in this case is equal to a negative 2.1. So it's important for us to remember, first of all, we look at two, uh, two scenarios, right? When we have an odd degree, there's a couple things that happen. I don't know what this graph is going to look like, but I always like to remember the f of x cubed, OK? Because I know that the m behavior for that uh, polynomial is always going to fall left, rise right, and that is when you have a, not even, but that's when it's positive and it rises left, falls right when it is negative. So we look at this and we know that it's either, these are both when you have an odd degree. It doesn't matter what the number is. It could be 3, it could be 9, it could be 21. As long as your degree is odd, you're going to have the same end behavior. But which one of these end behaviors all depends on if your leading coefficient is positive or negative. If it's positive, it's going to fall left, rise right. If it's negative, it rises left, falls right. So in this case, since I have a negative leading coefficient, my graph is going to rise left and then fall right. And I'll just leave with you uh, the generic version, the easy, easy way to kind of simplify it, just so you can have your own behavior. And that's it. Thanks.